Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for LifeScript.com. At the 2015 Lead On Conference in Silicon Valley, I spoke with Food Network personality and author Ellie Krieger. She gave tips on how to make small changes to your diet that could yield big results. We live in a world where we think delicious and healthy are two separate things. And one of the first things to do is to really look around, and I think I provide a lot of solutions for this, of where do, what's the sweet spot where those two things meet? That you know that you can have food that is both delicious and healthy, and go for that as much as possible. Fill your life with that. One of the things I talked about also is eating mindfully, and it's very much a cornerstone of, of my work and all of the things that I do, and it's very much a cornerstone, I think, of being happy and healthy. So that just really means slowing down a little, right? Just a little. It doesn't have to be a screeching halt or anything, but just slowing down a little bit and really chewing and really tasting and really savoring the food that you're eating. Well, I love that too. You're probably going to taste your food more than we actually do because sometimes we just wolf things down, don't we? Exactly. And that's what I mean by enjoying it more. Um, and I think a big part of that is saying, I'm not going to eat in front of the computer anymore. I mean, imagine that. It's actually, it really feels like taboo to me to eat in front of the computer. My food philosophy is thinking of food as usually, sometimes, and rarely. So there's no such thing as never. And understanding that you don't have to do anything extreme to live a happy, healthy life. That if you, it's what you do usually that really defines your eating pattern. So focusing on the usually foods, which are vegetables, whole fruit, whole grains, lean meats, low fat dairy, healthy oils, nuts, beans, seeds, the oils, nuts, and you make that the center of what you're doing, then you can sprinkle in some sometimes foods, which may be a little white bread, for example, maybe some French bread now and then, or maybe a little honey, or maple syrup, or maybe some dark chocolate, for example, or maybe a meat that's a little bit higher in saturated fat, like chicken thigh, for example. And then the rarely foods. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> well, those are foods that I think nutritionists often put on the no-no list, right? and that chefs often use with a heavy hand. So you can strike a balance there, okay? And I do by using them in minimal amounts for maximum impact. And those foods, by the way, are like butter, cream, sugar, bacon. It's okay to have them once in a while in small amounts. And I think that's really the key, that it doesn't have to be all or nothing.